plenty of close racing and lots of happy competitors at Phillip Island's August Access Meeting. Run by the Phillip Island Auto Racing Club as a stepping stone between sprints and state championship level racing, the event attracted healthy fields across 12 classes. The largest turnout came from Supercars and it was Anton Stevens and Gary Pegararo who shared race wins with Stevens taking two wins over Pegararo's one. Sadly, the final race for the weekend was red flagged after only one lap when the 125 cart of Nathan Pryor left the track at high speed and made heavy contact with the wall at the back of the circuit. Pryor was taken by ambulance to a nearby hospital for observation. Large fields in the 125 non-gearbox classes as well, with Jonathan French taking a clean sweep of all four races over Russ Ocapinti. The rapid rise of the Victorian XL Series continued with more new cars and more great racing. Nathan Blight won all four races, but there was little to separate the rest of the field, with cars three and four wide on some corners. Blight led home Cade Lehman, but it was the fight for third that had everyone's attention. Brendan Avard, Neville Blight, Adam Bywater and Gavin Dunn were locked together lap after lap in the fight for third. Avard came out on top from Blight in a thriller. The BMW E30 saw Brad Rodwell, Stan Armstrong and Sean Bell sharing the race wins, with Armstrong coming out on top for the weekend after taking out the final. Bell made several challenges on the leader, especially under brakes into MG, but Armstrong held firm to take the points. The local Victorian V8 series provided plenty of power, noise and some close racing, with Mark Kakuri winning all four races, but he had to work hard to hold off fellow Commodore driver Graham Meir in the final. Meir led early before Kakuri fought his way through to take the win. Cam Chivers was third to take second overall for the weekend, with Gary Shipton's beautiful Mustang, the first of the Fords, in fifth place. More power, better fuel economy, a cleaner, more efficient engine. They're just a few of the advantages of having your car tuned on a Dynotech Dyno. To find your nearest Dynotech workshop, go to dyno.com.au. Dynotech by Dyno Dynamics.